Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for June. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius and we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies and messages for the week. Uh, any information can help so it's always nice to see what the cards want to tell us. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay. Well, I'll take a look at this. We have the Star Major Arcana. We have the Tower Major Arcana. We have the Strength card Major Arcana. So I'm going to begin with the Tower because the tower is the 16th card of the major arcana. And the tower is about, uh, it's really about restructuring. It may be unexpected restructuring. It may be expected change, something uh, perhaps being destroyed, a foundation that crumbles, but something is going to happen that may be shocking and may cause you to have to change your way of uh, living, perhaps your daily routine or w whatever it may be. But it signals uh, this, uh, if you see it, look at this illustration with the lightning and the glowing. And we, do we see the people coming out? Not really in this illustration, but you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's a big deal because it, it indicates that something has to be changed and that change is going to serve you in the future. It may not feel like it now, but ultimately it's clearing away this uh, weakened foundation and instead you're going to be able to build a foundation that's strong and that hopefully is going to be in place for you to be able to receive joy and to live an abundant life that has purpose. So the tower is um, a card of restructuring, a card of things changing Perhaps whether you like it or not, the universe is giving you a very clear signal that this is what's going to happen. But I would say that on a daily reading that uh, this could be something on a smaller scale within your life that there's some type of change that you have to deal with. There could be things brewing behind the scenes as well, but the tower suggests that uh, something, whether it's an old way of thinking uh, or a current way of thinking, that has to go. Some and many viewers say that it's a blessing in disguise. And I think that's a great way to view the tower card because uh, when you think that way, when you think of clearing out this rickety foundation that hasn't been so stable to begin with, when you're able to clear that out, then you can build a stronger one and something better. And that's the hope that you have to have. And now if we look at the star card, the star card falls after the tower in the major arcana it's the 17th card of the major arcana so the star card we see the woman here with the two cups and flowing the water and you know there's a sense here that uh, we look to the stars for guidance we look to the stars to make wishes to feel romantic underneath the stars and the star is really about uh, connecting with yourself and restoring yourself, your psyche, your hopes, your dreams after a challenging period. 
after, for example, the tower. Here's the star to say, just be good to yourself, find uh, respite, find peace, you will find serenity. And the key message of the star is really to have faith that everything's going to be okay. That uh, everything within your life, uh, if you have hope, and if you believe that the universe and divine source is looking out for you, that uh, you will be fine and that uh, it just everything works out. That's really one of the clear messages of the star in addition to all the other little things that we chat about, about restoring good health, restoring our sanity, so to speak, when things get us rattled or when we have these tough times that we, where we question things, it's like be passive, take the time to rest, to heal, to take care of yourself in all ways, physical, mental, and spiritual. And mostly have faith, have faith that the future is going to be fine for you, regardless of what may come your way. And, and then here's the strength card. And the strength card is a card of, again, more courage and using your heart to get you through the tough times. And you can see the woman here, she's side by side with the lion. The lion looks peaceful. This is a peaceful illustration. And she's using soft control. She's not forcing him. She's using kindness and gentleness on her journey as she moves through life. And so here's the message of, this, of strength, which is to use gentleness, kindness, compassion, and that is true strength. And that true strength can really help us. And, and the strength card is lovely because it tells you that really deep down inside, you have whatever it takes to help you through. And you have to believe that as well. And so with the strength card, it's courage. It's having a big heart. It's being able to exercise some degree of self-control where, uh, you know, you're not reacting or impulsively perhaps showing anger. But with the strength card, there's a sense here of, of again, uh, understanding that you have everything you need within you in order to handle adversity, to handle changes, restructuring, what other words, whatever, whatever words that we come, uh, come up with to describe the tower, other than something's going to change. And ultimately, it may not feel like a good one to you right now, but ultimately it's going to benefit you because it's going to make you stronger. And again, through adversity, through tough times, it's when we grow, it's when we evolve, we learn from these difficult life lessons. So it's very interesting to see three major cards like this and particularly the way that they're situated. So, um, let's take a look at the numbers. Let's see if I can add this high. Let's see, we have 17 and 16. That is uh, 33. 33 and 8 is 41, and that reduces to 5. And 5 is about new cycles. It's about challenges, being flexible, being adaptable, perhaps finding freedom. And now let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. D Desert passage, trust there's a divine plan. And how I see things is I see that as being very much in sync 
with the star, which is to trust the stars, to trust divine source, that there is a plan. You're a part of it. You have free will, but often we're kind of led down the path to have these moments that maybe turn us in a different direction or where we bump into someone and that someone could change our life. So the desert passage, keep walking, use your strength, have faith and optimism in the future that everything is going to be okay. So I hope that you found something helpful here today. And if you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.